welcome back to the GT3. It's so good to hear that exhaust again. I've been in and out of friends' cars lately, but it's always good to get back to the naturally aspirated flat six of this thing. So today is pretty cool. We got up fairly early and I'm heading to the Chumley Pageant of Power, which is held in the county of Cheshire. And we are catching up with some gumball friends there. So we're about 15 minutes away now and we're about to hit some nice twisty roads, which is a great opportunity to make the most of the GT3. And then we're gonna hop inside and see what's what. Let's do this. I'm currently sat in a field waiting for this to end. This is what we're, we're dealing with right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've decided to not even step out of the car until this is gone. And to top it all off, we don't have any phone signal. So, uh, the guys from Gumball can't come out to give us tickets. So, we are, yeah, literally just uh, stuck in a wet, rainy field. Good times. Okay, so I made the decision to scrap filming here in the rain. It was pretty crap. And surely enough, it's paid off. The sun is out, the cars are out, the track is dry, and everything so far is looking pretty spectacular. So, without further ado, let's check out the Chumley Pageant of Power. events between Ollie setting off up the hill in the BAC and before him getting back I've been invited to drive the GT3 up the hill at the pageant of power so grabbed a skid lid I've got my numbers to stick on the uh, car it's number 100 which has worked out well 
And uh, yeah, now I just have to find my way out of the normal car park, wind my way through, and then uh, yeah, onto track. Okay, we're back at the car. This is pretty cool because <laughs> when I arrived, I just ended up parking in a completely normal car park right here, the middle of a field. Just gonna drop the helmet down here. And now this car is gonna go on track. So let's jump in, get it all set up, and uh, yeah, do this. Slightly nervous actually. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Every car has to have a number on it for ID and timing. I'm applying mine in the car park right now. Is that about right least space, do you think? That'll do. Not centered at all. More like here and here. Cool. Anyway, no time. Must stick. Okay, GoPro on, skid lid in the car. Let's get out of here and hit the track. Well, that escalated quickly. I went from spectator to entrant within 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, finally, we've got the car out of the normal car park in to the paddock, we've been through scrutineering. Um, I don't have a full race suit on, which makes me look like a bit of an amateur, uh, but I have borrowed Ollie Webb's helmet, uh, who just went up in the BAC mono. So I'm in good hands. So I've got about three minutes and I'm following two other gumball cars up the hill. Max Cooper's beautiful Vanquish and my Galag teammate's car, the AMG GT3 from this year's Gumball. So yeah, what a turnout of a day and I'm super happy that I've been able to take you up this hill in the GT3. Fantastic. Let's do it. All right, skid lid on. Let's hit this hill climb. I've got Max's Vanquish in front and I've got Adil in the Galag GT3. This is cool, man. This is really sick. Apparently it's a famous car on YouTube. Quick sharp bit of brake for that hairpin and through. Yes, you can see the other side of the circuit with the um, bridge over the over the track, and then the chicane. Well worth walking across to have it a is. look. It really, it really is. is. And as you walk past, you'll see the scramble bikes every, twice a day having their races. Both uh, uh, two wheelers and uh, sidecars as well. Have a helicopter ride in a Robinson R44, which is a very nice helicopter to fly in. Three spare seats, well, pilot plus three. Woo! <laughs> well, we're going the right way. <laughs> didn't know where I was going then. Well, sorry I didn't speak then. The concentration was pretty intense. Um, obviously, this happened within 10 minutes. One minute I wasn't doing it, the next minute I was. So I had absolutely no idea where I was going. Um, there are parts on that track which are actually pretty slippy. There's quite a lot of overhanging trees um, and it has rained today as well. So where the trees have deposited, you know, sap and just general uh, dirt, it is pretty slippy. But what an opportunity to be able to do that. I had no idea I was doing it. And then last minute, here we are in convoy with my Gumball brothers. What an experience. Woo! All right, so I just stepped out of the car. It's the first time that I've been up the Chumley hill climb and it's been fantastic, but I've just spotted this 599. Now, you, you probably don't recognize it now. The last time you might have seen this uh, was if you watched uh, the Night Run video that was filmed with Supercar Driver. Towards the end, a lovely black 599 pulls up alongside the F12 and off we shoot. It is this gentleman's car and it has just no less one 
the tribute of the Milli Millia. Yeah, that's right. We won the uh, 12 cylinder class gym, so it's a little bit more used than it was last yeah, time yeah. that uh, you saw it. So, right now, am I right in thinking that it is returned as it was when you crossed the finish line? Well, yeah, we drove we drove a thousand miles down to Brescia to the event. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the thousand mile race around yeah, Italy, yeah. and then we drove a thousand miles home. And uh, we've not touched it since. So every right? so there are some Italian, there are well, there are German, Austrian, Italian, and French flies on it. European wildlife. Uh, European, European collection wildlife. of yeah. European wildlife. Nice. And, uh, okay. And we have um, actually the first time you might have seen it. Yeah. We have a cup holder in a Ferrari. In a so Ferrari. all right. If you have a look inside, let's, let's we have just a, do it, man. It's right there, there between there it the is. seats. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Th there it is, and that is your winning trophy from the 2016 yeah, Millimilia. Yeah. Yeah, Fabulous, so. man. And what was the highlight? So for me, Millimilia has been on my bucket list since I could drive. And everyone I've spoken to was like, you must do it, you've got to do it. What's the highlight? Well, you know, James, I mean, we, most of the people who like these kind of cars, you know, I mean, most of us are, are kind of hopeless addicts, aren't we? And, <laughs> Tell me about and, it. And yeah. the reason for it is it's all about emotions. Sure. And, and nowhere but in Italy, in the Mille Emilia, do you get emotions like, like you get. I mean, 8 million people watch the race this year, which is crazy. On the Friday, the kids get a day off school so they can wave at the race. It's a full-on national event. It's a full-on national event. And, and the thing that's just really got me on a few occasions was when you see a 70, 80-year-old woman in a, in, a, in, a, in a garden, sitting all day with a picnic and just saying, Go, gas, 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 gas. And you wouldn't get it anywhere else you in the world. You wouldn't get it anywhere you. else. You their get. passion for cars, particularly Ferrari, I mean, it's, yeah. it's part of their sort of national DNA, isn't it? It is. You know? Yeah. And, and the, the, the love that the Italians, and especially if you're doing well in an event, yes. the Italian, they, they would shout the number Fantastic. every time we got into it. Uh, and because uh, and, 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 these yeah. guys also documented their uh, trip on the way. That's and I, right. And I yeah. believe Elliot is putting it on YouTube. He so has, if yeah. you want a more in-depth look at yeah. that check out the link below I'm sure you've got some really interesting stuff yeah I mean for example this this footage you'll see which you won't believe it if you see it, is a full police escort into Rome wow. shutting down roads and at one, at one stage you'll have to watch out for it yeah they stop a tram and say you have to stop because these guys are on the Mille Mille. You couldn't write it, could you? You, you yeah, only you, in Italy. Only in Italy, and you wouldn't Fantastic. you wouldn't believe it. Well, congratulations. Yeah, well, thanks, James. It's great to see you again. And uh, right. when, when, when your when yours has got the numbers on, yes. we, yeah. we're going to get James to do the event with us. So hopefully next year. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll we can guys. maybe run a rerun of yeah, the, why not? Why not? Uh, of the night run. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Thanks yeah. very much, man. Nice. See you. <laughs> Cheers, James. Thanks. All right, guys, and that is it for the day. I finished the hill climb just before the rain came down, so it's perfect timing. Now we're going to hop back in the GT3 and head home. It's been a fantastic day. Thanks to Chamley for organizing such a great event and also for letting me go up the hill at the last minute. It was such a great experience. See you next time, guys. Ciao.